Dave, thanks for seeing us. Uh, we're back down here to see obviously your two new cameras um, from your SLR range, uh, which are sharpening up your lineup. Um, so we've got uh, the the 800D. Yep. And then is this the 770D or the 77D? Um, 77D okay. is how we're, how we're describing it, yeah. Yep. Um, so what's uh, what's new about them? Because obviously, uh, you know, they, they look very similar, to be fair. I mean, I'm getting a bit confused with all the other cameras here, too. <laughs> um, but obviously, internally and uh, function-wise, I mean, uh, you told us some great things. So, uh, yeah, please. Yeah, so um, th these are these are um, additions into our lineup. So basically, what we've got is uh, we've kind of got a... Um, uh, another camera in our advanced segment, um, which we kind of co cover off at the moment, it's been like the 80D. So we've got the 77D and the 80D sort of sitting together. Okay. And then we've got the 800D, which is sitting right at the top of our, we kind of call it our entry level segment, though I don't really like that term right. because um, people, when they're using these cameras, are, are, I think are more than that. You know, sort of enthusiasts. Exactly, enthusiasts, enthusiasts, um, people are enthusiastic about photography. So, so yeah, so these are two models. Um, <clears throat> now, internally, they're very, very similar. Um, in that they've both got a brand new 24 million pixel sensor, which okay. comes from the same generation as the ATD. Yep. So the feedback we've had from the ATD, as far as its image quality is concerned, is amazing. So mm -hmm. it's really great to have that technology on here. It's not too dissimilar to the technology that we have on the 5D Mark IV and the One Series either. So to have this technology at this sort of level, I think is fantastic. Very impressive. Um, we've also got a 45 point all cross type AF system on both okay. these cameras. Um, it's um, sensitive to f2 uh, sorry to f8 as well right so if you use um, converters and this yeah. kind of thing you can still um, get the af system to work which is brilliant um, it also has a dual pixel cmos af they do um, which is our super fast live view af system it's it, that first came from the Simarios range and then we've got it once again on the atd we've got on the one series the five series and now we've got it on these products as well and we've put our new processor in here which is our digix 7 processor so if you put together a um, 45-point AF system, Digic 7 processor, and the dual pixel CMOS AF, you can see that these cameras are incredibly fast at autofocus. We're actually quoting 0 0.03 of a second for, um, uh, for AF lock-on. Okay. Um, and this, as things stand at the moment, is pretty much one of the fastest um, uh, systems you can get on an APS-C size sensor camera. Super fast there for autofocus and still imagery. Um, ATD is obviously really popular for vloggers and video users. So have you made anything or tailored this towards that at all? We, we, we have, we've got, a, we've, got the, so we've got the dual pixel CMOS AF, yeah. um, uh, which is great for the live view for video shooting. So you can use the touch screen on the back as well for pull focus and this kind of thing. If you were still looking at video though, I'd still be tempted to look at the ATD. Reason for this, is it's a headphone jack on it, which you don't find on these models. Okay. And also you can control the speed of the dual pixel CMOS AF. Right. So you can slow it down, you can change its speed to change its characteristics. So you can do a more gradual pull focus, which you can't do on these. So if, if, you're, if you're a vlogger, I'd be tempted to still look at the ATD. Okay, what level of video uh, can these uh, shoot at? So you have full HD movies um, at 60p on both of these products here. Okay, but no 4K at all? No, no 4K on these models. Um, we don't have 4K at this kind of level yet. With, with Canon, what we've done is we've decided to, um, uh, to really concentrate on 4K at the more professional level. Okay, so no. on our Cinema EOS range, and actually our XC10, XC15, we've got 4K on at very high uh, megabits per second. So we've decided to really concentrate at that kind of level. Although we do now have it on the 1DX, um, and on the 5 Series as well. Yeah. So it is coming across on our range, but at the moment we don't have it at this level. That's fair enough. Um, obviously Wi-Fi is a, a big thing for people transferring images and shooting uh, wirelessly. Um, has these uh, both got Wi-Fi functionality to them? Yep, you've got Wi-Fi, NFC on both of these, and now you've also got Bluetooth as well. So okay. we've got a low energy Bluetooth system on here, which is great for connecting to your smart device. And we've now got a remote. So we've got a new remote, um, which is the uh, BRE1, which is a little Bluetooth remote, which officially has a range of about five meters. Now I have to say, I've been experimenting with this myself, and I've got a lot more than five meters out of it, but officially the range is five meters on this. What's really nice about this little remote is it's separated out the shutter button from the autofocus button. That's good. Um, so you can, if you're shooting video on this kind of thing, you can set it up, set your focus, then not adjust it. So yes, you can use this for stills and for movie shooting. So this is the first time you've had two digital SLRs in your advanced category. Now this is why I'm quite interested in the 77D, so can you tell me a bit more about that one? Yeah, sure. Um, so this is a similar layout to what you have on the ATD, but in a much smaller, lighter form factor. Now what we find is that people are quite um, 
are familiar with the what we call the triple XD line, so like the, you know, the 450s, 500s, and this kind yeah. of thing. And their design hasn't really changed that much because okay. they're very simple and easy to use. But what we'd like people to do is to take their photography further, to really enjoy photography. So we wanted to, cr we wanted to create a camera that had a more advanced feature set on it but was smaller, lighter, and perhaps not quite so complicated to use. So as this is a real bridge between that next step, which is the 77D. Um, as you see, it's got the screen on the top here, which yep. is you normally find on the, the higher-end models. You've also got things like the dedicated AF button on the back here as well. You've got a button here for your Wi-Fi, so a dedicated button for Wi-Fi. It still has the variable angle screen, um, so a very high-resolution touch screen on there, but it's still a... Um, a very advanced camera, so it'll shoot faster, it has a better autofocus system, but it's still nice and simple to use. So um, it's great for people who, like, as I said, want to take that next step up, but perhaps don't want to go as far as like an 80D or maybe even a 7D for that matter. Whilst taking a brief look at the 800D earlier, I saw quite a comprehensive guide on there, uh, which is obviously really useful for anyone who's a bit stuck with what they're doing. But yeah, so, tell us a bit more yeah, about that. Yeah, this is the first time we've um, we've had this kind of thing on these cameras. It's actually on both of these. Okay. Um, it's a it's a feature guide. It's recently we launched um, the app. Uh, the free app which you can use to help advance your photography and this kind of thing and um, what we've decided to do is put a, some of the features of that app onto the camera itself so it'll tell you about if you want to change your um, aperture for instance it'll tell you what it will do to your image so like make the background more blurry or more yeah, sharp yeah. depending on which way you go and this kind of thing um, <clears throat> and we've done it very visually uh, with imagery and this kind of thing to really make it quite uh, quite advanced. We don't um, we don't see this as replacing like um, training courses or anything like that. But what we see this as being as being a introduction, just to give you an idea of what the things can do before you then maybe go on the training courses and this kind of thing. Because we, what we want people to do is to really enjoy these cameras and get the best out of them. And we know that some people can't um, or struggle to. Um, get the best out of the cameras and we don't want them to go off and do another hobby or something, we want them to enjoy photography. Yeah, yeah. So we try and make these cameras as easy for people to use and get the best out of them. Okay, so a quick recap, so 80D, yep. who would this be for? So the ATD is for people who um, are, are, are quite a way down their photography um, uh, journey, I would say. So someone who's perhaps a bit more specialised, they they either really like doing um, uh, wedding photography or portrait photography or um, sports or action, something like that, and they want a dedicated tool for doing this kind of job. They'll enjoy the modes, like the extra modes on the AF, so they can customise and tweak their imagery. Um, maybe they'll enjoy being able to change the speed of your... Um, uh, uh, the uh, dual pixel CMOS AF. Um, you've also got the um, the ability, to, or you've also got um, faster frame rates. So you've got uh, faster frames per second and this kind of thing. So there's a number of things on this camera. But really, it's about the customised ability. So it's your, your ability to change the settings to that that extra degree. Okay. Seventy seven D. 77D, this would be great as your next step up from a triple XD model. So if you've had a 450 or 550 or something like that at the moment, this would be a good step up for you to help you advance your photography and be able to just use the camera faster than you can with these type of models with the added button layout and the um, added controllers on there. Okay. Bit of a pop quiz, this one for <laughs> yeah. so I'm trying to think, think really quickly. 800D. So 800D. Um, this is sitting right at the top of our triple XD or entry level type segment. So if you want the best camera at the moment with the best technology that we have, but with the simplest layout, this is the camera for you. And the last one here in our lineup, we've got the 750D. So the 750D, the 750D has been in our lineup for a while now. It's a tried and tested camera. It's probably at a great price point at the moment. Now, I say probably because I can't talk about price points, obviously. Um, but it's a, it's a nice camera to get yourself started and get yourself going. Um, this would be a good camera for sort of cutting your teeth to work out whether photography is maybe for you. Okay. Um, so you're making an investment and, um, uh, and be able to learn the basics of photography and then see if you want to step up through the range. That's awesome, well done. <laughs> I'm impressed. Um, perfect, as always. Thank you so much for seeing us. No problem at all. If you want any more information, if you need any more information after uh, listening to Dave there, you can click on the link below or head into your local London camera exchange.